Hello, my name is Ashley Miller, and this is my presentation on my 2023 Technical Documentation Internship with Texas Instruments. I am a UNT TechCom student pursuing the Bachelor of Science track with an expected graduation date of May 2024. I pursued the TechCom major right from freshman year with the career goal of becoming a technical editor. Last summer, I worked remotely as an editorial intern at the International Risk Management Institute, which I believe really helped me prepare me for my work this summer in terms of both technical and life skills. This summer, I worked the technical documentation writing intern position at Texas Instruments. Regarding how I got my internship, this past October of 2022, I attended a career fair at which TI had a booth. However, my meeting with the booth representatives did not directly impact my getting the internship because there weren't any tech doc reps present. That aside, I found the TI Technical Documentation Writing Internship job posting on LinkedIn and submitted my application to TI.com in early November. From there, I had my first interview in early December and a second interview just before Christmas. I received the job offer in early January and began work in May. To anyone applying for internships or other positions, I highly recommend catering your resume specific to the job description, as I did, and approaching interviews as your authentic self. While Texas Instruments may feel synonymous to the calculator people, to myself and many others, only 3% of TI's revenue comes from their expensive graphing calculators. TI focuses on manufacturing semiconductors, meaning that their documentation centers on highly technical applications of electrical engineering. The technical documentation team, also called TechDocs, is a subset of the digital marketing team because the content TechDocs outputs is front-facing to customers on the website and thus an essential part of the product portfolio. In the screen capture to the right, the button to view the data sheet is adjacent to the Order Now button as it is an almost equally important call to action. TechDocs primarily works with highly technical material like data sheets and technical reference manuals. The newly formed co technical content strategy team manages most other content types like application notes and technical white papers. Finally, TI is a massive company with high volumes of content to put out, so TechDocs alone has approximately 30 technical writers and they had two interns this summer, myself and one other. My job came with many responsibilities, which you're welcome to pause and read more about, but I've narrowed them down to these five. One, showing up, which can be half the battle with how many lifestyle changes a corporate job can entail. Two, communicating, whether verbally or in writing, with a team member or an SME. Three, editing for grammar, formatting, translation, and more. Four, troubleshooting software issues you or others encounter, and five, executing different forms of publishing processes on different document types. The TechDocs team houses all of TI's technical documentation in Tridian Docs, which is a Component Content Management System, or CCMS. In short, using a CCMS allows TechDocs to implement a content reuse strategy and make their documentation process as efficient as possible. Engineers at TI draft technical documents in draft space, and technical writers peer review them in review space or Oxygen and organize them in Content Manager. Publication Manager is a tool with a Tridian extension, and it allows tech writers to prepare and release docs to TI.com. Finally, TI engineers and technical writers collaborate on document formatting, creation, and revision in the Oxygen XML authoring tool to implement standards in formatting and writing. Additional tools TechDocs uses include an internal wiki hub for writing and referencing internal how-tos and FAQs, and a project management software for facilitating workflows and communicating with engineers. One benefit of doing an internship at a large company was that they prepared well-established, formalized ramp plans for each intern. This meant that my project tasks, goals, and success criteria were explicitly defined for me so that my supervisors and I could effectively measure my progress. 
While this project didn't entail creating or publishing any products, I appreciated TI formalizing learning as a project because it was essential to my completing the other projects. Thus, for project one, I fulfilled the success criteria by familiarizing myself with the types of content TI outputs and their respective standards, learning how to use the Component Content Management System, or CCMS, that TI uses to create, edit, publish, and manage their documentation, learning the general workflow of the documentation process, and reviewing four released short-form documents. Reviewing released documents means that I left editorial comments and suggestions in a UI similar to Google Docs on a document that's already been published. This task mainly functioned as an editing test, as TI didn't give me any tests in my interviews, but making over 450 edits still had the impact of making any future revisions to those four documents significantly faster. And overall, this project equipped me to complete my remaining projects as I became able to use the TechDocs tools and follow the workflows on my own. With that, the biggest challenge I faced with this project was memorizing the different workflows and publishing processes associated with each document type. A second challenge I encountered was that I tended to spend too much time attempting to reword sentences to match TI style. For example, engineers are the initial authors of most of TI's content and they favor writing in passive voice rather than active. However, Active voice is one of the TI writing standards specifically because it's more conducive to translation. This is a screen cap of the UI of the platform where I made comments and suggestions. The teal box shows an example of passive voice that was easy to rewrite as active voice because the subject was evident. Conversely, the red box shows an instance where since I was unsure what the subject was that was performing the action of deploying, I left the clause as is to save time and avoid an unnecessary risk of losing technical credibility. This is a visual TechDocs shows to engineers to illustrate the roles of technical authors, that is, engineers, and technical writers on TechDocs in the documentation flow. Each step can involve several tools and steps depending on the engineer's document requests and timeline, so remembering which steps to do when was challenging for me for a while. A second project I worked on was migrating technical articles to the CCMS. Technical articles are blog-like articles that used to be managed by the overall marketing team. However, toward the start of my internship, ownership switched to TechDocs, so the technical writers, and consequently the TechDocs interns, were tasked with migrating over 2,000 technical articles collectively. Each writer was assigned just over 50 articles to migrate by November. But since my internship ended in August, I aimed to migrate as many articles as I could as soon as I could. That being said, technical article migration was yet another publication process to learn. But I quickly improved my time per article cleanup from 3 to 4 hours, tons of troubleshooting included, to 7.5 minutes, making me the most efficient at the task on the TechDocs team. Even so, this project came with its challenges including the fact that everyone was learning the new process, so I didn't necessarily have anyone to confidently teach me as I did with the other processes. This also meant that troubleshooting was more of a challenge, but once I knew the content authoring and publishing tools well, I had fun solving problems on my own. This is a screen cap of a technical article on TI.com. In migrating an article, I have to enter any legitimate device names into the pub metadata, delete the profile picture, add the date to the metadata and delete its paragraph tag, check for any broken links and replace them when possible, and adjust the images to scale properly on both the PDF and HTML outputs. The image on the right shows the PDF output of this article. Troubleshooting the image scaling took a while on this one, but with the help of other tech writers, I was able to modify the attributes to output the image properly on both the PDF and HTML versions. Here are some additional projects I worked on and their impact. The first section of a datasheet is called a FAD because it contains the features, applications, and description of a product. Traditionally, TI datasheet FADs have been limited to one page but their standard just expanded to allow two pages, 
so my fellow Tech Talk intern and I each developed two versions of how a two-page fad could be structured. Once approved, these mock-ups were distributed to the Tech Docs team to be referenced for years. I also took part in the publication process for several short documents. Because engineer deadline demands can range anywhere from 10 days to two years, I didn't get to see any documents go from start to finish, but I did create five application brief templates, which I sent to engineers, revise a user guide in Oxygen, review four other short docs in review space, and publish over 50 technical articles to migrate them to the Tridian Docs repository. Finally, my fellow Tech Doc intern and I recognized that the instructions for migrating technical articles were not user-friendly to tech writers new to the Tech Docs tools, so we tasked ourselves with the additional project of writing new instructions. After writing the extended instructions, I organized and revised them according to best practices for instructional design. Then I developed an abbreviated version of the instructions to serve as a quick reference guide for current Tech Docs writers to remind them of the steps standard to this specific documentation process. Each day, from the beginning to the end of my internship, I had moments where I was thankful for my TechCom courses. Here, I've highlighted key teachings I applied during my internship and their respective TechCom courses. TechCom 3550, Content Strategy, and TechCom 4190, Technical Editing, were particularly fundamental to my success. Regarding Content Strategy, I had multiple projects that involved conducting content audits, so I was glad to have done that before. I was also glad to have taken technical editing before my internship because a significant portion of my responsibilities applied concepts from that class, from following style guides to interacting with illustrators. We touched on content reuse in both content strategy and technical editing, but most of my foundation for that came from my previous internship because my undergraduate courses didn't teach me DITA XML. Nonetheless, I was frequently impressed by how much of my coursework applied to my job. One of the overall challenges I faced this summer was writing to an audience of experts. Most of my courses focused on writing to explain concepts in simpler language to be easier to understand. But during my internship, technical communication meant taking information from experts and presenting that information in a way that makes sense to other experts. This was challenging because in reading content, especially early on in my internship, I didn't feel like I could evaluate whether the content would make sense to the reader because I didn't understand a lot of it myself. However, I quickly learned that the SMEs at TI love to talk about the work they do and they explain it well. One day, I asked an engineer on the isolation product line how isolation works and why he loves his job, and suddenly I understood electrical engineering a little better than I did before, and I saw some of the interest appeal. But even so, I found I didn't have as much of a sense of purpose driving my work as other TIers seem to have because I didn't have a passion for engineering. However, a project manager on the translations team helped me see that a job doesn't have to feel like it inspires global impact for it to have meaning. Jobs that make other jobs easier, like editing, have direct value. Finally, perhaps my greatest challenge of my entire internship experience was learning to adapt to change. Change is constant, but the number of life changes I encountered at once, from starting a new job and living with new people to driving in Dallas at 7 a.m. every day for the first time, was overwhelming. Focusing on the constants, like seeing how my coursework was similar to my job duties, kept me grounded, but if I could do one thing differently in how I approached this internship, I would give myself time to adjust to the new lifestyle before beginning the actual job. I am incredibly grateful for my internship opportunity and experience this summer and everyone who helped me get there, from my TI Tech Docs team to my TechCom professors. I thank you for watching my presentation and encourage you to reach out with any comments or questions. Thank you!